welcome to a Halloween movie review. It's only going to be a quick one. There's not much to say about this film, to be fair. <laughs> That's not a negative point. It's just there really isn't. And you'll see why in my spoiler part. Like, the first minute is just going to be what I initially thought. So I got right into watching this film. Um, it's been like quite some while, a while. And a lot of people get telling me to watch it and stuff. So I did. And it, you know when it first came out? And it just died. After like the first week or two, it just died. Um, it took me two scenes. I, uh, I watched some of it yesterday and then the rest of it today. It's a slow burner. Like it starts off really good. As in like, oh, this is interesting. And then kind of like sizzles out. And then the end's kind of... <laughs> oh, you'll know in my spoiler part but a uh, quick for review is it a good zombie film it's a zombie film there's not much to say about it really is that uh you know if you like your zombies if you like your korean zombie films yeah go for it i kind of give it a five out of ten maybe six at a push i truly believe that train to bazan one and the second one that's just come out is a much better film uh train to bazan one uh is the like the proper good, like realistic kind of thing, zombie. Trying to present two is more of a screw it. Let's just have a little bit of fun. It makes no sense, but it's fun. But yeah, and in this one, it's kind of like in between them both. So yeah, it's a five, six at a push. And the reasons why is uh, reason. Well, I can I can say this, and this is in spoilers. I think this film would have been a lot, lot better. If they stopped going with the, I don't know, the thing now of zombies having to be fast. I don't know why. I know that they're more scary, obviously, but I prefer my zombies slow. But I know, yeah, they are fat, they are the quick, in their meat scarier, blah, blah, blah. But this film suffers in this department. There is literally like four or five times when they encounter, actually they're in danger with the zombies. And um, it's staged. I know it's stupid to say, like, obviously, it's a film, it's acting, but it's so blatantly staged. Like, I can't really go. Basically, they, there's a part in it that, like, all of it you can just tell is just staged, and it's, it's pure, purely, poorly, purely um, uh, shot, basically. It's not how I would do it, and I don't know why they did it. I don't know if they rushed this film out, but, like, yeah, for instance, this part in literally the th the um, the poster here is a, that happens in the film. There's like a hundred zombies, just a rough estimate. Let's just say fifty, just to make it less more dangerous. But I presume more. And like, <laughs> I don't know, like you know, if you logically and like you know, you know what I mean. Logically, it's just it's a bit poor. Anyway, guys, so yeah, it's a 5 out of 10. The the ending, there's a payoff at the ending, I suppose. And it goes against Korean films, because I don't know what it is with Korean films, but like they have to end on like a self-sacrifice film. I'm not just talking about zo uh, Korean zombie films. I just mean like any, every film that I have watched uh, come from Korea. There's just always like a sad moment at the end. It's just like... Hang on a minute, this is a Disney movie! Ba boom ching Anyway guys, yep, 5 out of 10, now onto spoiler part. You got your warning, and spoilers. Right, the reason why this gets a 5 out of 10 is like I just said, it's all staged. Staged really badly. This, this really would have been a lot much better film. And I, and I personally think I would love to... Like the, the premise of this film is great. They're in like a, an apartment complex, you can kind of see from the, the poster. <laughs> And basically, you're uh, basically he follows the the life of the guy there. He has got blonde hair, but he's in the red cap. I can't remember Yoon Yoon Su, I think, or is that the girl's name? Uh, anyway, so yeah, this apocalypse happens all around him. Like I said, it in just the beginning is really interesting, and to see that, like you know, him surviving in the room on his own. Um, for the first like part of the film, it's really good. I did actually enjoy that's probably what's bumped it up to five because there's a part in the film where basically yeah i can't remember if it does tell you how long it's been but it's been a while he's run out of food i think 
he's got he's low on supplies and he's lonely. Basically, the reason why the hashtag thing goes by is because his social media is taking it over so to show that he's still alive and uploaded it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, yeah, he kind of, like, gives up on hope. He, uh, he goes to kill himself and then, like, I think it was, like, a laser pen. And that's where the woman comes into it. She's in an apartment block across the room and they kind of get a, a bond with walkie-talkies. That, again, I liked I like that. Um, and that is where the film just goes. <laughs> right? So, um, yeah. Like, basically, like, there's encounters before this part with the zombies. Only briefly, like, when they tried to get into his room and that. And it was a little bit stagey. But it's kind of, like, unforgiving stagey. As in, like... You know, like the kind of B movie ish kind of. Okay, yeah. Well, he had to survive otherwise. You know, you kind of you forgive one or two, but every like right, these guys need to go somewhere. I can't remember. Oh, it's hard because it's all in subtitles. I love my subtitles films, but like obviously, I'm also kind of editing while I'm watching the film as well. Uh, so sometimes it's a bit like mm. anyway. They decide they have to like try and get out basically, and so. Right, literally the scene before, this is this thing that like, just baffles me, this woman. The scene before this happens, she's saying, they're talking about fears, and she's scared of heights. And he's like, oh, you don't seem like you're scared of heights, you're pretty awesome, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then, like, they decide, like, they need to go. And like, literally in the next scene, like, they're discussing how they're going to get down. Like, he makes um, bed sheets. You know, look at as a rope, you've seen it before in like a thousand movies. And she has climbing equipment. Right, how, for one, how does somebody who's scared as heights, right, have climbing equipment? Like, she, I think she shouldn't, she should have mentioned like, oh, yeah, it turned out. You know me saying about, I'm um, fear of uh, heights. Well, yeah, I, I can actually do some kick-ass jumping out of the window moves and knows exactly what to do. It's absurd. It's crazy. It's like either this woman is a ninja or, like, you know, Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. She just turns... Okay. Okay, so she goes first. Crap plan. Because it was meant to him to go first. She just ignores him and just goes down. And this is where it just, like, I just lost interest in this film because it just... It was just poor. Uh, this scene, basically. <laughs> um, they're in the car part the, you know in the complex they're in the park car park and she gets down and there's like bearing in mind there's like 50 50 to 100 zombies only three go to attack her and like the th like instead of like right you think if you've watched hunting anybody with any like in right imagine there's like me uh but well, three of us obviously we don't have connected fourth so it, we are just purely animalistic, so we are going on instinct, like a zombie would. However, right, as, even like the basic insects, right, so there's three onto one. You don't line up and attack like that, You especially when you're coming from other directions. Instead of like, uh, and then coming from there to there to, and behind. No, no, they they go into a line it, it was crap it was so staged it was like oh my god <laughs> and then like he gets down and the exact same thing happens like he has a golf club as well which a golf club would do absolutely nothing right imagine not feeling any pain okay maybe with like a mace boof that would do damage but when you're something that doesn't feel pain a thin metal rod would not hurt wouldn't do nothing basically wouldn't damage the skull uh so that's that's me getting technical though look i'm trying not to be because i do give a hard time sometimes on films um especially when people have recommended this to me and i'm like sorry i didn't like it i just full on just did not like this film as i like the premise before um them two decided they needed to go because then they decide to go, right? And then they go back into like, another complex. And they go over to the top floor. Some guy saves them. Yeah. And then 
This, this is you know, this guy saves him, gives him food, knocks him out, and then it turns out that his wife's a zombie, and he's trying to feed the female to his wife. Okay, you know, it was somewhat interesting because before this it was like a really slow burn. That's the good thing about this film, actually. It kind of was self-aware, as in, like, they, they knew. You know what I mean? Like, I know the, the whole, like, whoa, this film is this guy uh, watching the zombie apocalypse from his room and see how he... That's not... That's, like, the first, like, half hour and the rest is just, like, a typical zombie film. So that was, you know bit of misleading um and yeah the, that happens it's interesting it keeps the the flow going okay now because i watch this with the missus and like she's just she just likes films and just watches them where i'm like a really bad critic <laughs> and uh so right they decide uh, this is just crazy they decide to um go to the roof because they see helicopters so, okay, and there's like, again, like 50 zombies, like, probably not like 50, probably like 30 zombies on the, like, uh, the walk, you know, if you've been to a block of flats, you've got the, on the outside. Um, and how did they get out? Well, he goes and attacks him with the golf club. Okay, and then she just runs with a shopping trolley, and that knocks them all down. It's crazy. i actually seen... A lot of back in like this ages ago to be fair in Tesco. I never forget this. There was like two kids. Um, obviously, I think one the brothers probably. Uh, one's like quite a lot older, and they're messing around with a shopping trolley. And the one he just goes full force into, into this other kid, and like it knocks him down, but like it stops dead. Like the, the shopping trolley. I just always remember. That, I don't know why, and it just come relevant in this film. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, imagine apparently shopping trolley can knock 30 40 zombies off the the side of the flat. I don't know how physics probably. So they make it to the roof. Um, the, the again, stage it's all very, very staged as they're going to the roof. You could so like can tell. And then <laughs> this is what I literally was like, What, right. There is no sound. The only sound that you can hear are the zombies that are chasing them, right? So they make the roof, the ri and the woman's like, there's no helicopters. There's no sound, there's no helicopters, no rotors, nothing. You could, you know what I mean? Imagine like a desolate, uh, kind of like city area, and it's dead quiet, no cars. You know, you can hear that kind of shizzle. Um, so like, they're like, yeah, there's no... So they go to the back of the um, the building. I'm thinking at this point, okay, this is going to end like a Korean typical film. They're just going to kill the South Lord, jump off. But fucking no. <laughs> Out of absolute nowhere, there's a helicopter come from underneath the fucking flats and saves the day. It, made, it blew my mind. It's like they heard a helicopter from, like, the next city flying there. Well, this helicopter, what the fuck is it doing under the flats? How? How would they not know? Then they don't hear, and then they're just going to say that it was it was bad. It was so bad. Uh, B-movie, if this was a B-movie, uh, 7 out of 10, just for cheese, right? But it wasn't. It was that they tried to take it seriously, and it was just, no... So yeah, for, do I recommend this film, pal? If you like your your zombies, if you're like into the zombie fest, because I do, I do have them from time to time. Every few years, I just boom, zombies in your face. Uh, so yeah, that was hashtag alive. I give it a five out of ten. It's a very forgettable film. Ask me about this this in a year's time. I, wouldn't, I can't even fucking remember half of it now. I can't even remember the names. But yeah. That's hashtag alive. Five out of ten. Ten months.